News Meg reporting that the uh, firefighters were using the jaws of life to get whoever happened to be trapped in that car out uh, when they could, when they first arrived on scene. As you see more of the, uh, the, the, the devastation here in Lower Manhattan on Worth Street, um, this this crane spanning from Hudson to Church, it's just, uh, in, in its scope, is massive. Um, and I'm, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we get the surveillance video that's on those blocks when we see the actual crane, uh, the crash happen uh, as it happened in real time this morning. A little about 8.24 was when the first 911 calls first came in uh, that this crane had collapsed. Initial reports are that one person was pronounced dead at the scene. Others were removed from their vehicles with the jaws of life and rushed to the hospital. A third injury reported as well as one of our reporters saw that person uh, go by on the stretcher. But again, what caused this, we're still waiting for word. But we do have people who are on the scene giving us the very latest as to what they are seeing and hearing. Let's go to them. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I mean, um, the other days I was just thinking, um, I hope it doesn't fall. Um, yeah, and then it happens, you know? And how bad is the destruction up the street? I mean, I can't get down there. From the 11th floor, it looks very bad. It bounced off two buildings and it crushed every single car on that block. Well, there you have it, yeah. Two buildings. New information there. It mm. uh, actually ricocheted off two buildings. I mean, it's, uh, you know, again, you see the size of this. <laughs> it's hard to believe that it, it only hit two buildings. To be quite honest with you, uh, because it is it just it's massive. Uh, as we continue to try to, the more pictures we get in, the more we're able to kind of get a little perspective as to what building it hit, uh, exactly where it stands right now, and, and how, yeah, what 